My proudest career achievement is friends, you know. Um, uh, all the ways that one show has changed my life, it's, it's impossible to measure. And I would say also my 15-year my relationship with Marta and David were the high points of, uh, of my career. Um, I was very fortunate to meet those incredibly talented people and to be able to make television with them for 15 years. So um, uh, that's what I consider my career high point. And uh, other than the, you know, the real career high point is I'm still here and still standing. <laughs> There's a lot of career regrets and they're not the type of regrets where uh, they have necessarily had a long, a long impact on my life, but it's just looking backwards, I would have done things differently. Um, I would have been less excitable. Uh, I would have been less angry at times. Um, I was raised in, a, in an age of show business uh, and mentored by my first boss, Joe Cates, that if you, if you weren't strong and loud, nobody would respect you in this business. And I don't think that's true. I think, uh, as uh, people have said, you get a lot more with sugar than vinegar. And uh, I wish I had put a little bit more sugar in the recipe mm -hmm. before. But uh, I'm all sugar now. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to be remembered? There's a way that people have characterized me over the years. And uh, I like it, you know, it doesn't make me a perfect person and I have never been a perfect person. But I've always tried to do the right thing and I've tried to do right by people. And so uh, people re repeatedly say to me, whether they're Jewish or not, you know, you're a real mensch of a guy. And I think if uh, it could be on my headstone that he was a real mensch of a guy, I think that would make me real happy.